fellow art lovers. Today's art lesson is filmed here at Valorosa Art Gallery at Berkfield Center in Tyler, Texas. Um, today's lesson is going to be how to paint roses more fluid and free and breaking your boundaries using lots of textures, stepping out um, away from acrylic and uh, using some oil paint and just how to paint wet into wet and adding more movement to your paintings. Okay. layer my colors. I like to paint with a lot of pure color on my canvas and I layer the colors from light to dark and adding touches uh, back and forth so they all complement each other and give each other a balance. And, and I'll have another second canvas going at the same time that I can kind of wipe my brush off and start my underpainting for a second piece. And then I like to pick up just pure paint or pick up some white, mix it in right on your palette and just twist it right off. I love just to twist and drag, twist and drag your brush to spoon on that thick paint. You can get an incredible texture with oil paint uh, that is actually easier than acrylic paint. So if you've been painting in acrylics, you can switch over to oil so easily. And I do know oil is more expensive paint, but there are um, some options for the bargain hunters like ourselves. You can find the kits of oil paint at your craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. When it goes 50 off, buy the set with your coupon and get it on sale. And I've even picked up some great tubes of oil paint at Tuesday morning. So um, you, sometimes you have to scavenge. And even at uh, estate sales and garage sales, I've picked up some tubes of oil paint and they all just paint beautifully. So step out of your comfort zone and give it a try. You'll be so surprised uh, at the results you'll get. It's also easy, easy, super easy to kind of push your paint around with your brush, kind of like uh, a little shovel. So you can kind of spoon it on from one corner to the other corner and think of it like you're icing the top of a cupcake. This is your top of the cupcake and you're spooning your icing right on top, dragging it in and trying not to, do not stir it into your bottom layers of thick paint. So you're going to delicately spoon it on the top, spoon it on the top and just lay it on. I want you guys just to lay it on there very gently. And then I'll wipe my brush off over here on a second piece and then pick up some green. Work on your green for a little bit and twist and drag, kind of spoon it on, spoon it on, drag it off and repeat. I like to repeat my colors as they float around your canvas, which helps your eye move around. Give yourself some contrasting colors, a little here and a little there, just to give it some contrast and give it some um, some just some design and balance and harmony. Okay, keep painting. When you're painting and you're getting close to the end, um, go in and make your corrections. Oil paint is so forgiving. You can push it around to correct your lines, make your darks darker, make your lights lighter, make sure it has enough contrast, enough pop, give it some jewels of bright color to really give it some dimension and make it 3D. Uh, I have like three shades of orange, three shades of yellow, three shades of pink, and I've got different shades of blue, which give it a very three-dimensional look that really makes it pop out and come to you, okay? So as I'm doing my corrections, I'm gonna go in and add some white to kind of straighten out the lines of my vase, like that. And so push it in, push it in, give your vase some highlights, add more lights. If you feel like uh, if it's got too much color, go in and add white to it. Pick up some white, spoon it on, 
very carefully on the top. Try to wipe it off and spread it on there just like you're icing your cupcake to give it a little sparkle. Give it a sparkle. Wipe your brush off um, when you're trying to do your pure white. Wipe, your, wipe it off. Pick up some white. Um, do I want a waterline on my vase? Let's see. Is it is it is it too? Let's see. Go in and play with your colors here. Okay, so let's add a little, see if I can do a little waterline. Sometimes add a little turpenoid or liquid to give you some fluidity. Fluidity. Okay, so there's my waterline. And you could do one across the back if you want it to look even. Look at that. Just cut that in, cut that in. I love the rosemary brushes. Uh, they're wonderful for oil. We sell these at Valorosa Gallery. So local artists come get some. They're awesome even better than your craft store. Okay, so this is just about done. So I go in and play with my background. Play with your background a little bit. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope this has been a bit of art therapy and a bit of art inspiration for you as it is for me. Okay, keep painting. Have a great day.